All right, guys. Happy New Year's Day. Where do we go? Listen, um, believe it or not, people are open today. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That you gotta work. Anyway, uh, I'm going to the detail garage. Uh, I'm gonna pick up. Uh, I need to get some brushes for my rims, and um, I want to meet up with this guy that does paintless dent repair. Uh, I know some of you guys have heard of it. I don't know if anybody's seen it. I had it done on my uh, Challenger. I'm gonna show you some clips and some photos. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, some before and afters and things like that. Uh, some of this uh, technique, it's it's like an art. I think it's like an art. So anyway, I'm uh, gonna head down there, check it out. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is John, located here in North Carolina, driving a uh, 2019 Scat Pack. My, video, my uh, videos will be about cars, detailing, travel, adventure. Seems like um, a lot of times when my wife and I go somewhere, there's always something happening. So I started a YouTube channel. Anyway, hope you like and subscribe and uh, comment below. See you in a little bit. I wanted to ask you guys, it seems like every day I hit this thing in the sport mode. Is there a way to default it so every time I start the car, it just stays in sport mode? <laughs> I don't need this auto. I don't know, some, I guess some days it's good to have it in auto, but I just have more fun driving it in sport mode. And I know I'm not the only one. Car sounds better, it's pretty snappy. It's just more fun to drive. And uh, some people run custom. I started setting some custom, uh, custom config in here. All right, so we're here, uh, Carolina Dent Pro, and uh, so this guy TC, he does some pretty nice work, and uh, nice photos. Hey TC, good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. <laughs> hey, what's your website? Just so I get it's uh, CarolinaDentPro.com. Okay, well that's easy to remember. And um, you got a Facebook or yeah, same thing. Same at thing. Carolina Dent okay. Pro, Facebook, Instagram. All right, cool. And uh, on YouTube as well. Cool. Well, this is a nice. Uh, you got plenty of room in here. Yeah, we're still. Uh, we've been had a busy week, and we've been doing a little construction in here. So please excuse our mess. But uh, no, no, it's really clean. Pretty full and. We try to keep it very clean. But. How many people? Is it just you, or you got? No, there's four of us total. Wow. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So the reason why I had reached out to you was like, uh, I did a stupid move. I had my nice RT Challenger, and I'm pulling up to the ATM machine, um, ATM machine, and I like to pull in real close. So I, yeah. I bend in the mirror, and I'm like being real cool about it. And I just wax the car, and I'm like, I felt this, and I'm like, was that the <laughs> bump? I didn't hear a thing, right? And I'm like, I kind of like looked out the mirror, looked out the window, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I dented the side of my car, and it's kind of like this. Yeah. yeah. With, and it was on a crease, so yeah. I wasn't sure. This is deer damage we're fixing here for a body shop. We're fixing this door, this door, and then this fender here. So the creases are the hardest thing to fix, right? Yeah, they are. They are. It takes a little bit. Uh, this is a big job for us. Um, mm -hmm. This is not like because usually they're little, little. A lot of guys we fix. A lot of people we fix door dings for, but uh, this car is pearl white. So when you go blending on painting and blending on this car, it gets real expensive. The paint's real expensive oh, for this pearl, color. Yeah. So 
you know, we'll actually take the doors off the car. We'll gut them. We'll put them on a stand. There's one of our stands back okay. there in the back where you can see those. And we'll sit the door on the stand and we'll work the metal that way. So we'll take the glass out of it. It's, you know, they've delivered us the new mirror. So we're going to put a new mirror on it while it's here and then buff uh, the stuff off down at the bottom. There's some adhesive left over from old uh, PDF okay. stripe oh, that was on the yeah. Uh, yeah, bottom I pulled of the door. A, so I pulled a bumper sticker off and pulled my paint off on my Chevy. Yeah. Um, First time I saw this, I'm I couldn't have been more than like 18. A friend of mine, he had dings in his um, in his car, and what he had pulled off the inside panel, and he was just like tapping with a hammer. So that was long, long time ago, yeah. and now it's getting. They call to be, that method bumping. That's like oh, is a, it? That's an old, really old. You know, well, it was a long old, time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an it was old an guy. older method. Well, you're not that old. <laughs> you know, it's uh, you know, this stuff's been around for a long time, and it was kind of a trade secret kept uh -huh. by the automobile manufacturers. How okay. You, so a lot of stuff we use, like door dings and stuff, we will roll the window down. We'll put a protector between the glass itself and we'll use two wedges. And then we'll go down behind the metal and we'll massage it okay. back into position. So we'll just kind of, um, there's a lot of our tools that we use. Yeah, see this is what I saw. I was like, oh, this is kind of yeah, cool. Are what, uh, this is a visual aid. We use it. We have many different sizes. We have large ones. Okay. Small ones. So you can um, see where you're pressing, I guess? Yeah, so you look for changes in reflection because you can't see where your tool is in the panel. Okay. So you're looking at it and you're looking for changes in the reflection to see where your tool is. Okay. And gotcha. the hardest part of learning this craft is learning to see the tip of your tool in the reflection. Gotcha. So, you know, we'll put this on a car. And you turn oh, the light you on yeah, you and then you can kind of see you know you I don't can know where to start on that one yeah 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 that was a hammer few, yeah. <laughs> so you know you'll you'll see the variances in the middle reflection so like when we're there's like a little bitty dent right here so probably it's hell. Kind of hard to see yeah so <clears throat> you know that's what we use and we'll go from behind and we massage we have other tools like heat inducted electromagnets where we can actually lift the metal from the outside or methods called glue pulling where we glue tabs Okay. The outside of the car and then lift them various ways and the whole point is that it like this especially this being a pearl mm -hmm. if well, you I mean, tried to paint it you're gonna see it right away right yeah that and depreciation so um you know the factory paint is going to be the best paint you'll ever get right you know they spent billions of dollars with robots that paint your machine a clean room statically charged all yeah. this stuff You'll never get any better adhesion than you will at the factory. No body shop can reproduce it. This paint is as tough as it gets. And, and even uh, if they match the color, color sometimes it's the not, yes, not the texture will be the different. Texture will be, yeah. yeah that happened to my, mm -hmm. uh, my, um, my firebird. They had repainted some of it and it was a totally different texture. And I've had some high end car collectors where they've had damage to their vehicles and they've actually had me sign non disclosure agreements about me repairing them. Oh. <laughs> because they don't want anybody to know that it happened. Well, that's what happened to me. I had uh, my, my last car, I, it was just a bumper cover thing. I, I, I came out and the whole bumper was hanging off. So yeah. I, I was like, oh no. And uh, after I snapped it back on, I was able to touch it up and, and yeah, yeah. blend it really good. But I, I got an estimate. I think that's when you do, when you get the estimate, they report it. Yeah. And so it showed, it. we don't report that here. So like no. a lot of that's a common question a, we get. Yeah, is, uh, but it was a th I think it was thirteen hundred dollars on my appraisal I lost mm -hmm. just by reporting it. And then when I showed them where the damage was, they're like, oh, don't worry about that. And so like we don't, you know, whenever you do paint work, mm -hmm. you know, you get there's depreciation involved. Oh yeah. So uh, people, a lot of people don't even know that. Yeah. So like they'll get hit in an accident and then they go trade their car and they'll be like, well, this has been painted. You know, they'll take the paint meter and go around the car. Right. And say, Sometimes they don't okay. tell you that they know, but they know. But they know, they yeah. know. And yeah. then they'll take off what they right. give you in trade value for it because of the accident. And then people, I mean, when people go buy a car, they don't want to buy a car that's got accident history either. No. So. But yeah. one, one of the structural damage, I was looking at a Challenger and mm -hmm. then the guy looked at we looked it up in the Carfax and it said structural damage. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so maybe you fixed it, but I don't want a car that had a 
Yeah, frame I mean, structural repaired. damage is pretty. That, mean, that means that that it had to have some framework done. Yeah. So, <laughs> no. or, you know, could have had a frame rail replaced. Where right. yeah, it's fine, but, but they want I mean, the same price as right. everybody yeah, else yeah, that yeah, didn't yeah, have a frame rail. Replaced. You know, it's had an intrusive repair. Yeah, exactly. So, and and you know, there's companies like, out there that do post collision repair inspections. So, mm -hmm. like, if your car's in an accident, it's a wise decision to right. take your car to a post post collision repair place to have it evaluated to make sure that the repairer did a good job. Well, if the repair is done right. It, it, it's probably fine, but you should pay accordingly, right? Yeah, so you yeah. should get a discount. And yeah. then it might be a good deal for you. Hey, I got this thing, it was repaired, mm -hmm. but I got it like 30% less than a... So my wife my wife was in her, in her Cadillac and we, you know, it, they had to replace a quarter panel on her Escalade. So, you know, mm -hmm. and it's a pearl white car. So oh, replace the quarter panel, paint, paint and blend into the rear door. They had to paint the rail. So, you know, I went, back to the insurance company of the person that hit me and mm -hmm. said, look, I want the depreciation. And they were kind of like, well, no, well, they made me like some oh. variable offer. And I actually found a guy in Charlotte that does that type of stuff. He okay. specializes in that. And I ended up getting another 3,200 bucks because mm -hmm. that would be the hit when I took it in to right. trade it in. Wow, 3,200. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Escalade, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, so you can't get panels painted by the factory for you. I mean, if you no, would, no. and if you did, they would still mismatch because of the batch, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, they have systems to paint to match, and they can match and blend things. Mm -hmm. But the the thing is, is no paint's going to be as good as the factory paint. I mean, that's. I got to ask you. My wife's got a couple little dings, one on the back on her CX-5, one towards the back, and one towards the hood. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't sure because the mouth is the, you know that, <laughs> that uh, that what do they call that technology? It's, uh, sky, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, technology basically means thin metal. Yeah. And um, I'm wondering if it was the acorns from my neighbor's tree. Sure, coming. could have been. They can yeah, do that. That's quite common. A acorns oh. falling on a vehicle have the same type of effect yeah. that hail does. Oh, geez. So that's probably. And sometimes they can be worse because acorns have pits on them, so they have these sharp little spikes. Oh. So you can see little, you know, pin pin points well, in the dents. I might bring it in. I don't know. Yeah, she yeah, she we'll doesn't bother her. For it. But anyway, um, so yeah. So uh, can you show me? Do you have anything that you? Other than this, I guess you don't have anything that no, you're working today, on. Right it's now. kind of one of those okay. days where we're not. But we can show some of your videos. Yeah, I yeah, saw. yeah. I can, I can with, definitely uh, show you some videos. Hail, you were doing one with hail damage. I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was, I was like, I would have just. I mean, yeah. you can check out. We have a lot of videos on Instagram. Like uh, okay. that seems to be Instagram, Facebook. Uh, there's videos on our website, okay. before and after videos. And like, if you're looking for somebody to repair dents, okay. the biggest thing to look at is to make sure that they have videos, not just pictures, because pictures don't tell the whole yeah. story so the video is what's going to tell you did they do a good job the video should pan back and forth on the damage okay. before back and forth after and then you can really tell if they've done a good job because you can kind of repair a dent in a one-dimensional photo and make it look good in the okay. photo like oh it's gone but you know sounds good. and i'm going to put a link to his website and uh we're going to put some photos on yeah. there as well and i'll send you video. some videos that you okay. can show what type of cool. stuff we do yeah, this guy, uh, this is pretty tough right here. Yeah, yeah that's a deer hit. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me stop. I had a good time with TC. What a great guy. He's been doing this for a while, so I think... Um, yeah, he mentioned that uh, if you mention this video, uh, he'll give you 5% off. So, I don't know, get an estimate and then, then mention the video uh, to show that it's legit. But a uh, really nice guy. And uh, he's a Dodge owner. That's his truck. <laughs> he told me, he sent an email out to a bunch of dealerships to get the best deal. He said, this is what I want. These are my options. Give me a quote. <laughs> and they actually played. So uh, that's how we get the best deal. Anyway, I'm going to head over to the detail garage and see what they got. I want to get some stuff for the, for the rims here. And uh, a couple other things for the car. I might do that as a separate video. See you in a little. All right, I hope you liked it and hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to uh, put this up and then I'm going to do a separate video of uh, the uh, detail garage. I want to check this place out. I guess it's a chemical guy's uh, detail garage, so this would be pretty neat. A lot of products that I like. All right, see you in a